Well, you guys enjoy your whatever that is. All right. Test. 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 <clears throat> test. So there was a recent study that was published this past Monday uh, done by Meta. So Meta is the company that owns Facebook and Instagram. So 35,000 people took a break from using their social media to see how it impacted them, basically. So the study focused on... I bet it was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the study focused on would would not watching social media have an impact on people's political views? That's what this kind of focused on. So would it have any difference in their uh, who they plan to vote for in the next presidential election between Trump and Biden, basically? Right. So certainly, as we know, there's tons of stuff out there on social media that try to influence people one way or the other with positive and negative content. Some is not truthful, certainly, but that's it. Uh, what they found basically is that it did not appear to have any impact on their political views, but it did have some impact on them keeping up with just like general information and general news had more of an impact there, which I guess maybe that's not surprising here. So um, that's kind of the high level understanding I got from reading through the article. So Getting into our ask an idiot to question here, guys. So just now again, this was focused on Facebook and Instagram. Certainly, there's tons out there on X and other platforms too. Um, that's probably the big three, though. Frankly, is X and well, TikTok too, certainly. But so I'm interested with you guys. So does social media has it? Does it impact your political views in any way or? No, and that's really that, that's 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 the that's the question of the week here. So, um, so Dean, what do you think? Does it, does it impact your way of thinking politically or otherwise in social media, or not really? Just kind of enforces what you already believe, or what? Go ahead, please. I don't know about any of that, but I I did the same thing as I I got off social media for about about a week week and a half. And the only thing that happened was I lost a lot of uh, muscle in my uh, right arm. Mm. and uh sure but we got back on got back on the horse and yep. now as political wise um i jerk off to that too so so i i do enjoy mm. the the political banter i love the political season the presidential season i know everybody says oh can we do these ads to be over and was it i love the debate i love the arguments i love i enjoy the our civic duty of 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 debating politics that we should be doing it um we don't have people picking up newspapers we don't have people turning on the six o'clock news right um we, people get their their information but they have to get their information like if you didn't oh i don't i don't go on social media okay then tell me uh you know what's going on? I don't know. I don't give a shit. Well, that's the problem. If, right. It, it, it's it's good and bad. Social media is good and bad for for the same thing. Actually, like you said, there's a lot of misinformation, horseshit out there. But if you find you know reputable sources um, that that isn't named after a fucking, uh, wild dog, uh, they're gonna, you know, you could find some reputable, you know, people telling you, you know, just the facts go to like, just go to like the AP the associated press, that sort of thing. Again, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you where to fucking go. That that's not on me to do. My point is that you, you need it. You 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 need it for the simple fact that you you need to know something. You don't have a politician standing on a soapbox anymore. How in the fuck else would you know what you, these people's views are? You should go out and vote, but you should be informed. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go on social media, that that's where the information is now. So it's it's a necessary evil. Yeah, and to be more clear, guys, sorry the the. 
what happened was it was 35,000 people who took breaks from Facebook and Instagram six weeks before the 2020 election. And then they went back and interviewed them further and said, you know, since you took a break, did it have any impact on your who you plan to vote for? And again, the answer was was no. But like I said, then it, they did determine that they had some uh, lack of general knowledge uh, right. that they missed, that type of thing. So, Nick, what do you think about all this? Uh, yeah, like I don't think it – it's not – your political leanings are, I think – already kind of ingrained in you for whatever mm-hmm. reasons. Um, yeah. I don't think they're going to change the, anything. Um, I would say probably sh- somewhere around, I've pretty, ex- I've pretty hardcore been off of Facebook since about 2021. Um, and it's been lovely. <laughs> it's been fantastic. Um, I don't miss it at all. Um, it's just been incredible. And that's basically what, it started with it was you know it started it was everything all compounding with the pandemic and and there's elections and uh, the whole it's just every, one thing after the other and i just didn't want to deal with it um i i think i i do find that i am less outraged by politics and things like that yeah. um i am more likely to take a more centered approach to things and listen to different sides a little more in my day-to-day life um, rather than taking such a hard stance in one way, I feel, um, because of the algorithms that are on like social medias and things mm-hmm. like that. Like um, they are going to feed into what you already believe. And like you alluded to, they're going to enhance what how you already feel, but they're going to take it to that nth degree that sometimes is not logical or healthy. Um, so it, I find that it kind of, uh, it levels me out to not have all that, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't, would I don't you think say though the, that you're informed enough to make a decision when, uh, when going into the voting booth though? Yeah. Okay. And if I wasn't, then I like, who cares? Like it, it just, I don't, that cause you're like, Oh, you got to know something. You don't. <laughs> Your world is your reality. You don't well, have to. Know well, that's you the don't. unfortunate thing is that you can anybody if you're if you're of age, you can and register to vote legally. You could walk into that booth not knowing absolutely Correct. dog shit and yeah. just push whatever letters form a name that you think looks neat. Yeah, and that's yeah. stupid. Sure, but it won't. Like it's you. You will be. At the will of what, like whatever it's, I don't know. It, whatever happens, happens. It's <laughs> it won't. Well, the change people, anything. if that's the case, you shouldn't vote. Like, it, like if you have that outlook of like, it oh, won't I, fucking change anything. Yeah, if if if, if you yeah. don't think anything matters and, and and it's not, um, that it's it's all nonsense anyways, then why mess with it? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean it, you you could find very easily all of the voting. Issues and information yes, about where all you the don't candidates have somebody telling without, you, you can read it. That's exactly right. And there's plenty right. of non biased uh, sources out there that will give you views on both sides. Right. This is yep. the pros. This is what the left think. This is what the right think. Whatever, however, you want to look at it, it's all out there if people choose to do the research and take the time. And that's like you say, that is unfortunately some of the 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 I don't know if it's the danger, but some of the challenges today where people don't necessarily want to take the time. They want to sit down and scroll through their phone, right, and pick up tidbits here and there, good, bad, and different. And and that's the thing, yeah, it may you know, influence people. Go ahead, right. Well, I don't need the skewed like the the one view or another of this person that thinks this way or that person that thinks that way. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's just it's like it. And then this news outlet that feels that leans this way and that news outlet that leans that way. And it's it's just mm-hmm. like, you know, I don't know. Here's it's the just thing, unnecessary. Though. Has any of you two either <clears throat> ever watched one of those ads, you know, with the guy with the ominous voice telling you this November, if you vote for this guy, puppies will die and your right, grandma yeah, yeah. will get raped. It, have you ever heard one of those ads and gone, you know what? That changed my mind. That's not written. Those aren't for us, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, those, they're for fucking idiots, and that's well, scary. Yeah, right. They're for people who are not yet decided. And, that so, and they, they know stupid that. ad. If you're dumb enough to fall for that, please yeah, don't but, vote. 
I almost feel that. like it's they, uh, they know that they know that it's type there of stuff. If you arguing points for what you already like, if you right. agree with the commercial, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna say this to this guy at work. Right, like, exactly. <laughs> that's all that's for. I just they, really don't want it to be the deciding factor on somebody's. Uh, I doubt uh, that it is. For me. I, I mean, I, I would Jesus say it's such Christ. a small. It is such a small, small percentage of people. That's and one those, big reason I don't like to. Well, that like small arguing percentage politics. shouldn't vote. I don't like arguing politics with people that there's no point in it. There is absolutely I no point that. because the person you're talking to that feels differently, the, no one's mind has ever been changed in an, in an argument like nope. that or a conversation nope. like that. They, it's just going to make them pissed off and lean further right. the other way. There's no point. You know, I, I mean, you that. can say, they can say their piece, but like, that's it. Like it's no, you're both still going to stand here and here when, when the conversation is done. Right. It's and best just that, not to talk about it. That's fine. I, I got people at work that I enjoy talking to about things and I don't agree with the things they say and they don't agree with the things that I say. I know but who like, you're talking it, about. <laughs> it's civil. You know, it's a civil conversation and sometimes it gets a little heightened, but it's never disrespectful. It's never an argument. It's just, I it's love interesting. Arguing with him. It is very interesting, you know. Um, I don't understand it, but it, it's, you know, it. I like hearing other people's perspectives. And I don't like completely vilifying one side or another because not everybody is painted with one brush. And I think that's, we get lost sure. a lot in that. And, it's, and I'm not, when, when I'm talking about whatever, you know, <clears throat> side I don't agree with, I am not talking about the people that are voting. I, well, I am when I'm talking about stupid people who aren't informed, who did vote anyways, but people with opinions that are on one side or another that's not who i have it's the issues of is the people running for office mm-hmm. is my issue. I, I i've never gone oh that guy likes so and so well i don't like that fella no i that's stupid yep no that's good it's an interesting thing and, and other things about the study they say too that really the the study itself was flawed to begin with because you're only talking six weeks before the elections at the time. People had plenty of time to already make their views. They didn't sway. I mean, it'd be interesting to know as well were were people all were they sort of right? That's, you know, undecided. You a, that, that would be that. Right. That'd be that'd be what I want to see. If you're un, if you're Correct. truly an undecided voter, and you think that I don't like either one of these guys, frankly, I don't like Trump. I don't like Biden. I wish there was a reasonable other alternative besides. Uh, Who's Trump the, or Biden? Uh, Who's Trump the, Biden? Uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. But um, you know, <laughs> uh, would would uh, that be data? I'd be interested to see. But I, you're right. I, I tend to agree for the most part. If you already have your views, being off social media is it's not going to change who you vote for necessarily. You may just have you may be less stressed out and less amped up, you know, with the uh, stuff that you're seeing that uh, doesn't agree with your views, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so. hoping, I mean, why can't we get to the day just stop all this silly shit and, and Brian run for office so we could all vote for right. him That's right. and, 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 and make this a better place for everybody. Now, That's right. Brian, I do have a specific question for you. I'm very curious because, mm-hmm. you know, the algorithms take a lot of things into uh, sure, account. Sure, but real thick. As, <laughs> as far as your, um, you know, your, obviously your age, that mm-hmm. is taken into account. So, typically, for an older white man, uh, and the uh, algorithm understanding this would probably send you one type of thing. But you are also a pretty liberal-leaning guy in general. Sure. I mean, you know, a little pretty centered, but I would say uh, liberal views on a lot of things what do you see both or like is there do you feel like things that you see are catered to you online or do you see like both things do you feel like you get a healthy dose of both like I, to be honest i'm not on it that much i post yeah. our stuff and i look at like i'm on facebook probably more than the others that's probably in part because of my age but for the most part i'm not looking for anything on facebook on my own other than you know uh uh, uh shit to buy get this get the damn podcast off the ground <laughs> well that i post a, and then honestly just personally just i'm interested to just i, I like to see the friendly things like your guys's uh, uh pictures of your wonderful family and kids and everybody celebrate that's what i like i don't yeah. i'm not looking on facebook for any type of opinions and shit like i could not care 
less about people's opinions I've seen it a on lot social less. media like that. You know, and I, I, I'm on X here and there. I do watch some things on X. There's some folks out there that are, I tend to get, probably with the videos that I watch, I tend to definitely get more of the liberal side of, you know, conversations and things like that. But again, I, I'll look at some other stuff as well, you know, just to get the, the other side of it. I get it. I'm just not looking for opinions like that enough to really say that. Uh, the short answer, do I get a mix yeah. on X? Yes, I definitely get a mix on yeah. X for sure. For sure. But I, I'm not looking for it really anywhere else. I, I have my views. I don't care. I mean, I, I'm interested to hear people say sometimes. But I, I just as soon go out and read read news articles and re and listen to you know podcasts to get a you know different perspectives and and just information and to formulate my own opinions and stuff like that and i think it's probably at the end of the day like we said earlier there's no reason for anybody out there to have to you, you can there's information is so readily available out there if anything you want to know about anybody that you're considering to vote for or otherwise it's all out there. You can find it. You can find non-biased opinions. It's just factual information. Do your research. Understand the stuff that they find important. That if they if they're in line with your values and beliefs, then vote for them. And and maybe that doesn't even matter what political party they're part of. If they stand for your your the, the, the stuff that you that you find the most valued and what they stand for. That vote for him, and that's to stop all this other. But we're just we're just so far past that. I don't know. It, it, it could be the point of no return for that stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen a political ad on <clears throat> um, any of my social medias in like two years. It's yeah. mainly just Tijuana donkey shows. There you go. Uh, just videos of that, there which I ain't mad at. So that's right. Zennial Dean, uh, Gen X Brian, uh, Millennial Nick. If you like what you saw. Like and subscribe. Is that the first game you went to at Carter's and he lost? Yep. But the only. <laughs> I know, well, yeah, that's the fucking Yeah, the season the ended, and the, and the only game they lost is the one Brian went to. Well, shit. Oh, Brian did it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it no, was no, no. you. I no, you no, no, no. I, no. The first game you went to the first one and he fucking lost. <laughs> no. In full transparency, it was not his idea to do the video. Oh, I'm sure it was not, yeah. <laughs> It was Nick's. Nick mm -hmm. <laughs> said to do the video or else. I don't know what or else is, but I did want to find out.